In today's video, you're gonna learn the fastest way to create YouTube videos using stock footage and AI tools. So if you're starting a new YouTube channel, the hardest thing will be to create content every single week. And for some channels, you have to create content every day, like a news channel, for example. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the fastest way to create content and the, the exact process that I use to create videos every day. So these are the best stack of tools to create uh, YouTube videos, especially as a beginner that, um, that doesn't know anything about video editing, storytelling or scripting. Th these are the best stack of tools that you can use that will create the content for you. And all you have to do is kind of be a guide. And I'm gonna show you the exact three step process that I use to create videos every single day. So if you follow everything that I'm about to do in today's video, you'll also have a video that's ready to upload to YouTube within just a few minutes. So before we actually get started with the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and comment down below with any questions or any other video requests that you have. And if you do all three of those things, you'll be in the draw to win my YouTube Masterclass course. So YouTube Masterclass is packed with everything that you need to know about how to launch the YouTube channel, how to grow the YouTube channel, and how to monetize the YouTube channel in multiple ways. And you can be in the chance to win the course if you just like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. So I give away the course to a new winner every single week. So let's pick last week's winner. So I'm just gonna go into last week's video here, copy the link, and this is a website called pickawinner.co. So now it's gonna go through everyone that's commenting on the video, like the video, and subscribe to the channel, and it's gonna pick a random winner. So let's click on pick a winner. So Felix Protich, so you are the winner of uh, last week's video. All you need to do is email me at help at dreamcloudacademy.com. I've got my email at the bottom of this video's description. So just email me with this Gmail account. So you should have a Gmail account, so just email me with that account. So I'll know that it's you and I'll give you access to the course. So if you wanna win just like Felix, just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. So let's get started with today's video. So we're gonna use three different tools to create our video. And the first two tools that we're gonna use is a tool that I've talked about quite a bit in this uh, channel. So if you already know how to use both of these tools, you can skip ahead to Storyblocks. But the first thing we're gonna do is create a, a YouTube video script using this tool called writer.me. And then we're gonna uh, turn that script into a voiceover using this AI tool called wellsaidlabs.com. This is the most human sounding uh, voiceover that I've ever heard and you can also monetize this voiceover as well. And the third tool, which is the main tool, which it's called storyblocks.com. So this is the best website to find some high quality stock footage. And they've also got this tool right here called Maker. And it's a great and fast way to edit all of your YouTube videos. So I'm going to show you the entire um, the process from start to finish. And again, if you want to skip ahead to the parts that you want to know, you can uh, check out this, uh, the timestamps in the description below. So let's start with Writer. So the video that I want to make today is on the movie Matrix. So I, I was trying to look for like a trending topic that everyone's talking about and the movie Matrix is trending. So it's about to come out in a few days from uh, recording this video. So it's coming out about 10 days from uh, the time I recorded this video. So let's just make a video on that. So I'm going to go into uh, uh, click on start writing and I'll click on new document and I'm just going to call this the Matrix Trilogy. Trilogy and I'll click on create. <clears throat> so on the left hand side here, this is the most important part. So uh, select the language uh, at English or whatever language you want it to be. And the tone, you can set it to be something like assertive, critical, um, thoughtful. So I'm gonna make it thoughtful. And this is quite important, the use case. So right here, I'm gonna say blog idea and outline. So, so you're telling writer what kind of thing you should write. So you can write an email, you can write a video description for a YouTube video, uh, you can write um, a product description for an e-com product or a blog. So there isn't an option for a video script and I, and I really hope they do add an option for a video script. But the best way to get around this is to create a blog and then turn that into a video script. 
So uh, just choose blog idea and outline. Now you tell a writer what to actually write about. So I'm going to say the philosophy, philosophy of the Matrix movie. And so that could be the title or that could be just what the video is about. And then right here under variants, just click on three different variants. So what it's going to do, it's going to give you three different titles and three different sets of blog outlines for you to uh, turn into a blog. So it's not going to write the blog right away. It's just going to write up some introductions. It's going to write up a title and all of that. So just click on write and it's going to write that up for you. So this is all done automatically and it does all of this without any, um, uh, without any plagiarism. So here's the three different titles. So the philosophy of the matrix movie explained. So that's a really good uh, title. Philosophy of the matrix. What is the matrix, how it works and what its purpose is. Uh, the philosophy behind the uh, matrix uh, trilogy. So that's the title. So I think I like this title the best. Uh, what is the matrix, how the Wachowski brothers influence growth of AI in the matrix. So you, you have to go through these uh, outlines here and pick the ones that you like. So I'm going to get rid of this title because we don't need that. Uh, and maybe this title as well. And it says, what is the matrix in there twice? I don't think we need that either. Get rid of the conclusion, the purpose of the matrix. Here's another, what is the matrix? So let's just get rid of some of these that we don't, uh, that we don't need. Uh, don't need this one. Cool. So I think I like all of that right here. So what is the matrix? Let's just start from that. So all you do is just simply highlight this. Oh, that's actually not enough words right there. So you have to highlight, I think it's at least a hundred words or something for it to write a paragraph from. So let's just start from here anyway. So right here, since uh, I've just highlighted, I think it's uh, 30 characters. So you have to highlight at least 30 characters here for it to write a paragraph. So I'm just going to tell it to write an introduction paragraph from the title. So it doesn't usually, this doesn't take that long. It just usually takes like uh, less than 30 seconds. So there we go. So it says in this section, we'll be looking at the core ideas of the matrix. In this first part of the introduction, we'll be providing blah, blah, blah. So you need to read through this. And instead of in this section, you should say in this video, we'll be, we will be looking at the core ideas of the matrix. Uh, we will, so I'll just get rid of this right here in this first section. Instead of that, I'll just say we will provide a brief overview of this and blah, blah. So it says, what is the matrix right here? So I don't think we need to go into any, anything else about the matrix. So let's just get rid of all of this and all of this as well. And I'll just turn this into a title. So I'll just say this is an H2. Oops, that's a bit. I'll just undo that. Uh, there we go. Just hit undo here. I'm just going to highlight this and turn this into an H2 heading. There we go. Oh, actually, this is an H3 heading. Sorry. Great. So now uh, I'll highlight this, which is Matrix Morpheus quotes and the philosophy explained. So let's just go through all of these titles here and let's just write up a quick uh, blog. So this uh, I'm just going to speed up the video so you don't have to watch me do this uh, from start. So I've just gone through everything and I've just written a 500 word uh, blog right here. So this isn't exactly a blog, it's actually a video script. So what you should do is spend a bit more time, like five, 10 minutes, just quickly reading through this and make sure you change anything that says things like in this section or in this article, turn that into in this video. So make it more for a video script. But basically you've got an entire script right here written all instantly from writer.me. And if you want to ch um, check it for plagiarism, just highlight a paragraph like this and then just click on more and then click on plagiarism. And usually I've never found plagiarism so far. The only time I've found plagiarism in uh, something that writer wrote is when it rewrites another article. So if it rewrites another article, then make sure you, and it does uh, find plagiarism, just click on rephrase right here and then it'll just rephrase everything. And it can only rephrase if you only select less than 300 characters. So you have to do it 300 characters at a time. It can't do it all at once. So um, I'm happy with, I'm happy with this uh, video script right here. Now it's time to turn this script into a voiceover. 
So this is wellsaidlabs.com. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below and you can sign up for a seven day free trial and you can test out all of the different voices that they have and it's definitely the most human sounding uh, AI voiceovers that I've, uh, uh, that I've ever used. And I've also tested them on different channels to see if you can monetize these voiceovers and so far all of the videos have stayed uh, monetized. So to create a new project, just click on new project right here and name your project and click on create project. You can leave this empty as it is. So I've already created a project. So let me go into dream cloud and you need to paste in the script that you've just created into that box right there. So let's copy this and paste it in right here. Oops. And you need to make sure you need to put in the right full stops and commas. So if I don't put a full stop right here, it's going to think that this is an entire sentence. So it's going to read this entire thing like it's one sentence. So you need to make sure you put the full stops, commas, uh, spaces, wherever it needs to be. So uh, I think I'm happy with that, but uh, but you, I, I would spend a bit more time actually reading through this properly and making, making sure that the uh, script is right. Then just click on create and it's going to start creating the voiceover. And on top of that, you might notice that it doesn't say some of the uh, words right. So for, for that, you can use the pronunciation tool right here. So I'm not going to get into detail about how to use the pronunciation tool. Uh, I've got a detailed video on how to use uh, wellsaidlabs.com. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So that's uh, whenever it, it doesn't say a certain word right, like maybe it doesn't say the word matrix right, maybe it says um, matrix for some reason, you can actually change the pronunciation using the pronunciation tool. So that's the first par paragraph done. Let's go into the second one. And there's actually a limit on how many uh, characters you can uh, put in. So you can only do it, uh, do 1000 characters at a time. So right now it's 745 characters. Uh, whoops, I think it cuts some of it off. Let me just go over here. So, oh, so it actually cuts some things off right here. So uh, let me just take out this last part right here. There we go. Um, actually, I'll take out this entire sentence. I don't think we need that. There we go. And just click on create. And I'll go into the next one as well while that's doing that. So let's go into this one. So you'll notice that writer, it sometimes cuts off the sentences right here. Just uh, you need to read through that and add your own sentences in there or add your own paragraph in there. Um, but you need to you know, do some proofreading and editing uh, before you actually turn it into a voiceover. So you can see it actually cut off right here. It didn't finish this paragraph right here. So let's just copy this. Um, so this looks good. And let's just do this one more. And then I'm going to stitch the entire voiceover together. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Actually, I'll just finish off this whole thing. So we just got one more right here. So there's this one. And while that one's finishing, so I actually made a mistake right here. You can see that I didn't put a full stop, but um, to if you want to do that again, just, just click on full stop right here and then do it again and delete the previous one. But just to keep this video quick, I'm just going to leave that as it is. So I'm going to paste this one in and click on create. So now it's finished all the uh, voiceovers. So now you can actually stitch all the voiceovers together and create a full voiceover. So when this finishes, just click on this tick icon right here. And let's finish for this uh, last one to finish. So usually, here we go. So now we've got these five different clips right here. So just tick every single one that you want to um, clip together and just click on combine. And then uh, we're going to name this the matrix philosophy. And I'm going to say the uh, pausing should be natural and click on create clip. So now it's going to create the entire clip. It's going to stitch them all together and it's going to create uh, a nice voiceover for us now. And after that's finished, you can actually preview it right here and click on download. So let's click on preview. So let me just increase the volume. Uh, looks like you guys can't actually hear that. Um, that's my fault right here. I actually didn't do the settings for you guys to actually hear uh, the voiceover, but this does sound very human. And you can go try out, uh, try see how human this sounds yourself 
um, by signing up for a seven day free trial or you can check out my uh, previous video on wallstatelabs.com but i've created a very human like voiceover now so now let's uh, turn this into a video so actually before we go forward with the video i do want you guys to see what the voiceover sounds like so i just fixed the audio right here so and i also noticed that i uh, made a mistake and i stitched one of my old uh, voiceovers right here with the new one so i'm going to leave that one out this time and let's stitch this one together and i'll just call this one the matrix and click on create clip so if you make a mistake just do that uh, again and we'll, uh, and, and we'll just um, uh, you just need to simply recombine the music I mean the voiceover and it will create the voiceover for you so let's hit play the philosophy of the matrix movie explained in this video we will be looking at the core ideas of the matrix we will provide a brief overview of the movie and illustrate how it reflects a number of philosophical so I'm not gonna make you guys listen to that whole thing but I did notice a small mistake right here so right here when it says the philosophy of the movie explained it just kind of says that a bit too quick the philosophy of the matrix movie explained so the Ma matrix movie explained it should be philosophy of the matrix movie explained so it should be a little pause right here so what i should have done is put a little comma right here there should be a comma here and a full stop right here so you have to tell uh well said labs exactly how you wanted to read it so you have to kind of play it preview it first and then only you render it all together so i kind of rushed it here but when you do your voiceovers make sure you do it properly and actually listen to each clip one by one before you actually combine them all together but in this case i'm just going to uh, use what we've got right here just to keep this uh, video really quick uh, but if you want to learn how to use well said labs in more detail i've uh, make sure you check out my previous video in the description below so to download this just simply click on download and now we're ready to turn this voiceover into a, into a video. So now we're going to get into the fun part, which is creating the actual video itself. So for this, we're going to use storyblocks.com. So storyblocks is a great platform to find high quality uh, stock footage, audios and images. And they've also got this tool right here called Maker. So there's some limitations to Maker, but I'll show you how to get around that soon. So why do I use a service like storyblocks.com instead of a free service like pixels.com? So when you're creating a video with the voiceover and the script finished, you have to uh, combine a bunch of stock footage together to create the video. So for example, this is about the philosophy of the matrix. So I'm gonna go into pixels.com and just search up something like philosophy. And then I'll click on videos. Then you have to find the video that you like click on download then you have to upload that video into your video editor and then you have to match it with the voiceover so to do all of that it takes a lot of time just for one clip of a video but with storyblocks and the maker tool that they have you can actually do all of that at once the research of the videos the aligning the voiceover and the videos together you can actually do all of that at the same time using the maker tool and all of the stock footage that they have so you this will all make sense uh, once you uh, watch me actually make the video itself so i'm going to go into maker right here i've got it right here so, and let's click on make a video so i haven't chosen any particular template this is just the uh, just a blank template right here and i'm also going to delete this text right here so this is the timeline so this is the text timeline right here so let's just click on delete and there it is so the first thing I want to do is just upload the audio. So I'm going to click on upload audio and then click on my device right here. Now go into downloads and choose the audio that we've just uh, created and click on upload. So it's going to upload that. And usually that finishes within like, um, like two, three minutes. It Do doesn't take that long at all. So there we go. So we've got the audio right here. So I'm going to add this one in and I'm going to add in the entire track so it's a two minutes and 39 uh, minute track and i'm just going to click on uh add that onto audio layer one so let's click on play the philosophy of the matrix movie explained in this video we will be looking at the core ideas of the matrix so there we go so now it, it, the first first sentence is the philosophy of the movie matrix explained so i'm going to go into stock right here click on this little search icon and 
this is what speeds everything up. So before we have to go, um, if you're using pixels.com, you have to go into pixels.com and then download the clip. But with Maker, you have, this is search option right here. So you can just search up something like philosophy. Oops, let me just search that again, philosophy. And let's choose this first one right here. And I'll maybe use up like three seconds of that and click on add clip. And just like that, we've got our first clip. And also, this is a movie, so I'll make up, uh, I'll add in something like philosophy movie. Let's see what comes up there. Uh, so that's not good. So let me try something else like movie. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll start with this right here. So this is 35 seconds, so it's a bit too long. So I can cut this down and maybe use like the middle of this clip right here. Yep, so that looks pretty good right here. So I can play that. So I actually like that right here. So philosophy of the uh, Matrix movie explained. So I'm gonna click on delete. And now if I hit play. The philosophy of the Matrix movie explained. In this video, we will be looking at the core ideas of the Matrix. So that's the first clip. So if you were doing that through pixels, it would have taken way longer. So just for one clip, it might have taken you like two minutes just to add one clip. So let's go to the next one. A brief overview of the movie and illustrate how it reflects a number of philosophical ideas. So for the next one, I'll just maybe use this one right here. So this is about 19 seconds long and let's click on add clip. Now I'll maybe reduce that a little bit further and let's hit play here. Ideas. In the second part, we will look at some specific philosophical ideas that influence the matrix. And they're still talking about creating the matrix um, uh, movie or something like that. So let's keep doing this right here. So this actually looks quite similar to the matrix because, you know, it's got that green background, kind of that green looking matrix theme. So I'm happy with that. And let's hit play. That influence the matrix. What is the matrix? So now it's talking about what is the matrix. So I'll search up something like matrix. Let's see what comes up. There we go. So we've got the matrix itself right here. So I'm going to click on add clip. So it's just loading it up. So let's click on add clip. And yep, so let's hit play. The influence the matrix. What is the matrix? The matrix is a 1999 science fiction. So that's probably a bit too long. So let's push this back. Film which follows a computer programmer named Thomas Anderson who learns about. So now it's talking about a computer programmer. So there's this person standing right here. So let's use this one. Film which follows a computer programmer named Thomas Anderson who learns about his true identity as an individual living inside an artificially created world called the Matrix. The film also. So there we go. So now you just keep going, just keep adding more and more clips. Now this speeds up the entire process way more. Before it would take me like at least two, three hours to create a good video, to find the right stock footage using pixels.com and other free services. But with storyblocks.com, it actually just speeds up the entire process and I'll have a video done uh, within minutes. So now you can also add in some uh, audio as well. So there's some free um, audio that, uh, not free, but the audio that uh, Storyblocks comes with and you can just add that in and you're done you can also add in a logo and all of that right here as well but i usually do that manually on another video on another video editor sorry so now you just keep going like this and you just add in a bunch of clips for the entire um for the entire timeline so that's pretty much it so those are the three tools that i use to create youtube videos pretty much every single day and it speeds up the entire process and it also uh, it reduces um, costs so I don't have to hire uh, video writers video script writers I also don't have to hire video editors I don't have to hire uh, a voiceover artists I've got these AI tools that will do it for me so back when I first started out on YouTube with very uh, little money to invest I wished I had tools like this because this would have definitely helped at a fraction of the cost of what it would cost me to hire all of these different people like writers and voiceover artists and video editors i can do all of that on pretty much on autopilot using all of these ai tools so i've got a link to all three of these tools in the description below go out and try them try to create your uh, own youtube video to see how they go and if you have any questions make sure you comment down below 
Make sure you like this video. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I come out with videos like this every single week. And uh, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and comment down below. You'll be in the draw to win my YouTube Masterclass course. Um, and I'll be announcing the winner next week. So stay tuned for next week's video and I'll see you uh, next week.